Hello folks, good afternoon. Welcome to my workshop here in Spain. My name is Simon Leach. I'm going to make a bowl and um, I've just thrown a, a pad of clay here on the wheel head. I'm now going to drop down my wooden bat onto it. Just centre it by tapping. Give it a few hits like that. Right, now I've got a lump of clay here. This is about six and a half pounds, well it's three kilos. So one kilo is 2.2 .2 pounds, so 6.6 .6 pounds. Right. Just put that on there and just give it a little... Sometimes with these bigger lumps of clay, you just give them a tap around like this, you get them a little bit centered, a little bit beforehand. Right. Keep an eye on the time, what have we got there? Right, okay, here goes. Centre this. It's going to be a sort of um, a bowl, something like this one here, you can see. Clay is a little on the stiff side. Thanks to my clay supplier who seems to think I'm Tarzan. I keep telling you I'm not. <laughs> right, pressing down. This is going to be have a uh, turned foot. Clay out towards you, the camera, slightly up. Whew. That bit's quite hard work because it's now I'm lifting it, as you can see, upwards. This is where the leech wheel is so good because. We get real good control of the speed. As as your diameter increases, you tend to want to slow down. Another thing to remember when making a bowl: try and get the height before you get the width, at least mostly. Because once you've once you've got the the width, if you haven't got the height, you haven't got a hope of getting up there again. So go up first and then open it out like that. Make sure you've got enough water as well. If you're doing a big shape like this, if it gets dry and it suddenly catches on your fingers, it'll you can pull it out of shape. Bowls like this for ages. Slightly downturned rim. Hope my head's not in your way, folks. Sometimes when doing a big bowl, a rib is is useful. I'm not interested in trying to get all the throwing rings out of it, but I'm just it's just to get the general shape right. Because I feel that the inside of a bowl is important. That it should have a nice continuous curve. I don't want any corners, if you like, in the bottom here. I want it to be one sweep from here down and up and out. Now, 
get off the wheel a second, just have a peep at that from the side. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Leather. When you when you leather, don't press on the rim, but just hold it to the rim and hold it around the rim with your fingers and just caress it like that. That's all you need to do. Alright. Just a final sponge out. <coughs> with my stick, I just clean it off just a little bit around the base there. Holding it firmly down on the wheel head, pull it, pull it towards me like that. Okay. Well, how is that looking? Yeah. Well, this is going to have a turned foot, so I'll invert it tomorrow day after, and with my with my turning tool, whichever hap hap one I happen to. To choose, I'll, I'll I'll pair away the clay to put the foot. Okay, all we have to do now is just lift this off. There we go. And there it is, folks. Have a go. See you.